Hello, this is a tutorial on how to do a basic special effects cut. Um, as I would like to go into special effects if I carried on doing makeup, I would like to go into that field of work. So before you touch anything, you need to make sure your hands are clean and washed. Mine are. Um, and depending on what, if you're going to do it on the face, you need to make sure there's no makeup on your face or the client's face because if there is uh, the spirit gum and the cine wax will not stick to your face it'll just come right off um, then losing the effect of the like real fake effect cut and then you're going to make sure it's cleansed I'm using micellar water and I'm going to do it on my arm just to remove any oils that um, the spirit gum may cling to once it is clean and it starts drying you're going to want to take out your cine wax I already have a pre-rolled uh, shape of what I want so I will demonstrate now how to do it you're just gonna I have this spatula type thing which is completely stained but you're gonna just take however much you think you'll need if you end up using less that's fine but make sure you always take more than you need just in case because it will take forever to mold the cine wax together was already made um, so take it out and then you're gonna roll it and then make a sausage shape with it. it may take a while you might have to squeeze it together a lot just to make sure it's all blended in and not hard in any places and then roll it out and just kind of measure on the face or the arm um, how long or how thick it's gonna be depending on the cut if you just want a simple kind of slash wound or a stab wound you're going to want it much shorter and much thinner but if it is something different um, you're going to want it a little bit thicker or a little bit longer just to get the effect that you'd want then once your arm is still drying you're going to get your spirit gum you should decanter this um, but I'm using it on myself and it's never been used before so I will just be applying it straight to the skin but you should always decanter and use a clean brush to apply it with. So just making sure it is the mould that you want. And the reason why using a spatula is great because it has got a thin side and it has a thicker side so you could use this to create the cut incision and then use this to flatten the sides so now make sure there's no hair in it you're going to take your spirit gum and just kind of place it where your cine wax will lay. Just an extra tip, if your client has longer or thicker hair on the arms or the legs, um, it would be advised to shave it off before the um, before the service just so it doesn't, the spirit gum doesn't cling to the hair and pull it on the, the client at all. Once it's roughly the shape, once it's roughly to the length that you need it to be, just let it get tacky. I just need it a little bit longer. Just 
get it, let it get tacky, just so it has a better grip. Okay, and then you're just gonna place it on like so, securing it. And then you're gonna take the flat side and smooth around the edges. It might roll around a little bit, so it's probably best to do the ends first so it has a a kind of force to stick to this bit can get a bit messy just because you're kind of playing around but it should look like this and then you're just going to repeat on the other side until it looks like raised skin. You can get cine wax in all different colours. You can get a more red cine wax if you just wanted to create a more bloody look where it's all completely red um, but this one is just clear you can also get more skin colour typed one if it is hard to blend to your skin but you just want to smooth all the edges just like this so the only thing that is the most visible is the section of the area that is going to make the cut, like so. You can smooth it down a bit more if you don't want it to be as raised, sometimes that can help add to the illusion. But it depends on what you want for your final look. Then, once you're happy with how the overall area looks, you're going to take your pointy side and you're going to make a incision like so wiping it on the pot of the C-Wax and make sure that it comes off at the end Ooh. comes off at the end so it's a very clear incision you can open this up and smooth it so it's a bit more of a deeper cut especially sometimes if you get more of a curve it can be a bit tricky to see the incision so flattening down the edges like I am doing will help open up cut like so so that way it doesn't look too gory but it's also clear that you have a cut
and then just blend out the edges to smooth into your skin. So right now we have just a cut. Like this. And now we're going to take our our bruise colouring. You can also use eyeshadows, but sometimes adding just a more clay kind of based product can just help add realism. So I'm going to take my brush and once you have decanted your colour, I'm going to add red just in to the bottom part. So when we add the blood, it will have a base so it's not just blood and skin. And if you can see, that's just a little bit darker than the rest of the bottom of the base of the cup. And like so. Great. Sometimes playing around with the um, seam wax can make it become raised. But if you just get your scratch out with your finger, sometimes the warmthness of your finger can just help re spread it in, like so. If you want a more fresher cut look, I wouldn't recommend using any other colours, just having blood and powder will really help make it look very fresh. But if you want a bit more of a dried-ish effect, adding bruising will very much help. So now I'm going to use a yellow-ish kind of colour. And I'm just going to apply that just to the very tips of this. Just so when we add our powder, it will blend a bit more. So just doing that just in the very edges. I'm not taking it all the way down because sometimes it doesn't always match but just following this red all the way down and as you can see on this area here it looks a little bit more blended to the skin which is what we want because we want the cine wax to look like our skin rather than it looking fake. You can even use foundation if the bruising colour doesn't match at all. But just adding this around the top bits so now we've got this cool looking basic base of a cut now you're going to take your translucent powder 
I personally recommend a colour based one rather than a white based one when you're working on cuts simply just because it can add a bit more realism and you're just going to be brushing that all over the cut whilst also being very careful of your cut sometimes having a white one can be very beneficial to get rid of any shine that may occur but using a more nude or a skin colour based one can just create a difference between it looking like fake and looking much more realistic like so and it's like a gruesome cut base and then I have two types of um, blood, arterial and renal. This one, arterial, is for more cuts that are placed in the arteries and stuff, and the ovarian, um is for more like veins, which is where we are on. So. If you want to take your spatula again, because after doing all the paints and the powders, we may have lost our clear path of where the cut should be. So just kind of dragging it through. I was also being careful because the cine wax is probably set in place now. So just sliding your through it and just rebuilding any sort of crackage that may have occurred during anything sometimes the sea wax does like to move So just smooth it down again and it's all so just creating that Like this, yep, and then taking that or a blood, you can start just at the tip and just kind of let it stream in. Not under the pattern, but a little bit more. But as we watch. It just kind of streams down the cut like a normal cut would. Like so. All the way to the. Oh! Might have to kind of direct it a little bit, but here's the cut. If we had a bit more realisticness. Have a stream. Blood bubbles, you not let it stream all the way down your arm. But just having a bit of a stream. Like so. Putting your arm the opposite direction can stop it from completely streaming down. But now 
The only annoying thing that could happen once you add the blood is if you have any cracks or anything in your cup, the blood can kind of go through them. But you can always just fix it. Like so. Now you can say you have a cut. Something that also can be quite good is taking a eyeshadow palette and getting either a black or a very dark red. I'm going to be taking a black that has been pre sprayed with IPA. something white on that, I don't know, and then just kind of adding it in the inner part to kind of deepen it, if you can see a little bit, that is just a little bit, that just looks a bit deeper than the rest of the cup, especially if you have some bits like down here that are a little bit a little bit deeper you can add black and it sets it all off um, if you want you can add more red to the base just to help blend it that extra bit more but if you grab a tissue and for pictures, have it just kind of bleeding into a tissue that will add more realness. So, I hope you liked watching this tutorial on how to do a cut. Um, and thank you for watching.